Hello. I'm standing in the back of our church, and I know that all of us uh, wish that we could be here on a Sunday morning or on a Wednesday night, that we could have Bob Zolman greet us at the door like he always does. Unfortunately, we know we can't do that right now. But what a great desire that is, the desire to gather together with fellow believers to worship God at our church. That same desire uh, was expressed by King David all the way back in, in Psalm 122, uh, verses 1 and 4. David said, I rejoiced with those who said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord, for this is where the tribes of the Lord go to praise the name of the Lord. The Holy Spirit creates in his people the desire, the godly desire, to gather with fellow believers at church. Church is our place to do that. But it can't just be about the building, can it? Church can't be just about the building itself. The temple back in David's time was destroyed multiple times. Churches catch on fire or they get leveled by tornadoes. Church buildings get bought and they get sold. They get remodeled or even demolished. Or like the time that we find ourselves in right now, we just simply can't gather together in groups. The building itself at this particular moment is, is rather useless to us right now. But God's church is not just a building, is it? Do you remember what the Apostle Peter said about Jesus in Matthew chapter 16? Peter said this about Jesus. He said, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. To which Jesus replied, on this rock I will build my church, and not even the gates of hell shall overcome it. The church is not just a building. The church is people. God's church is people who love Jesus. That's the rock upon which he built his church. People who love Jesus, the son of the living God. Jesus is the one who built such a church, who built faith in you and me. Sinful people like us, we love Jesus because he forgives us and he gives us eternal life. The Apostle Peter was that church. King David was that church. You and I are that church. The church is and always people who love him. So wherever you are right now in your living room or sitting at your kitchen table, you are the church. Whenever you leave your home to go to work or as things are now when you stay home to go to work, you are the church. When you gather together with friends and family or as things are now when you're unable to gather together with friends and family, you still are the church. I can't wait to meet with all of you here again in this building. But until that time, it is still just as David said. I rejoice with those who said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. I rejoice with all of you that Jesus is, in fact, our Savior. And that's what the church is all about. Christ loves his church. His church loves him. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, fill your church with the love of Jesus, the love that came down from heaven for us, love that lived a sinless and holy life for us, love that gave his life on the cross as a ransom for us, love that overcame death and hell for us. And then fill your church with love for Jesus that even while we're unable to meet together in our church building, we would still think and breathe and speak and act as your dearly loved and holy people, your church. Not even the gates of hell can overcome this church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.